Hi Aquarius, it's Elle here to do a quick reading for you. So this reading is going to be about what um, a romantic partner wants to say to you, whether they're an ex or is present, what family wants to say to you, what friends want to say to you, and how the people at your job or work or the people you work with, um, what they want to say to you, or what they ha how they view you, okay? So let's get into it. Thank you God for blessing Aquarius with a clear, concise message from you. All right, let's see. What does a romantic partner want to say to the Aquarius? What does a romantic part? Whoa. Okay, two of pentacles, four of wands, the high priestess. So they feel like um, Aquarius, this romantic partner, feels like the ball is in your court. It's up to you if they can come back. They really want to come back. They really want to reconcile with you or have a reunion with you. Um, but they feel like, you know, right now it's, it's on you. It's so much going on. Uh, they they don't feel like they can make the decision or they don't feel like they have the power to they feel like maybe you have the power to make the decision to come back together I don't know who ended it but they also feel like maybe with the high priestess here maybe you're good being single being alone it's making you extremely desirable to this person that you are ignoring them almost that you're not doing anything um, they feel like there's an intuitive connection with you Aquarius they do want to have you on the team because the two of pentacles they're still juggling if they want to you know um, settle down or uh, come to some level of stability but the four of wands they may have like a rotation of women or men or or whatnot this is my rotation of women card with the four of wands there um, or circle of women so somebody uh, wants you back in the circle back in the in the roundabout back in, in the cycle or circle right um the two of pentacles they also want you they feel like you've changed also this is what they want to tell you or they want you to see that they've changed uh the two of pentacles and the four of wands uh or they see that you've changed you may have changed residence or you changed something um they feel like you have changed okay um uh, let's see clarify this yeah the queen of cups they just feel like you just really um, have closed down shut up you know it's kind of like this shut up shop with this person it, they can't get any more out of you no more emotions no more no more anything it's just like you really closed down and that's what they're really feeling like you changed Aquarius this um, you know romantic partner or this is yeah they feel like you changed let's see yeah five of Pentacles they don't feel like it's any opportunity for you two to get back together uh, they don't they feel like um, you're ignoring them not acknowledging them they feel left out they just feel like lack of confidence within themselves they may even feel used or, or they can even feel like they they know that they used you and now you know and now it's just all bad you know they they feel like it's not over between the two of you this is just a good amount of time where there's gonna be you know like nothing happening between the two of you no activity but they feel like, you know, eventually you guys will come back together. They're still not offering much, but they definitely want you back, you know, back on the team, you know, back how things used to be with the four of wands here. Um, they may want to take you out and, um, you know, kind of show you off and, you know, do things with you. Venus, maybe make you fall in love with them. Um, or they, they want the love and vibrations back from you, Aquarius. Is what this person wants to say to you. One last card for what this person wants. This uh, romantic partner. Ex or current. But it feels like ex energy. Um, the devil card. Woo. All right. So they are obsessed with you. Obsessed with your energy. Again, devil. Circle. Cycle. Chain. Um, entrapment. You know, so it's like, I don't know. They, they want you back so you can be back in that whole debacle back in that low vibration back chasing them back stuck on them they want you there with them and they're really um obsessed with maybe having your energy back uh maybe wanting to have sex with you or wanting to seal the deal that way like okay we if i have sex with the aquarius i know we're back this person could want if you live with them they want to move back in with you they want to you know um they're doing something that that get you back in the house or get back in good with you get back in your heart space something about heart love wanting you to fall in love with them again they know that you you kind of keen on your intuition now you picked up on that 
when you picked up on their energy. It's just like they don't know what to do. It's like they feel like, okay, they literally pushed the ball to your court. And it's like, Aquarius, if you would push it back, I would definitely accept. So it's like somebody here who's just like, um, whatever the Aquarius wants to do. And I hope that they want to do what I want to do. Um, with the devil here, they want you to come out and play too. Maybe be a part of some third party situation. Maybe you used to accept this type of low vibrational energy. They want you to just to be accepting of it. They don't understand the change. All right. So let's see what family wants to say to Aquarius. What does family want to say to Aquarius? What is family? Okay. First card out six of cups. So they might want to say that they miss you. Uh, with the Six of Cups here, they're thinking about the good times, the fun times, the nostalgic times. There might have even been some traumatic times. You've got some family here who are looking to connect backwards with you, Aquarius, with the Six of Cups. Um, maybe rehash the past. you got some family members who are, you know, um, immature. So any type of conversation may turn into a disagreement because somebody's just emotional immaturity you've got somebody in ailing health like their they, their health is failing right now and they may be going back to like you know repressing so this could be like dementia or just like you know as, as older you know when we get older we kind of go back into that baby phase where this person needs a lot of attention pampering coddling with the six of cups so you may be dealing with that so some family member maybe you know ailing health here um, your family member wants to get back to simpler times with you say, you know, I love you and I care for you. Um, hanging out, uh, laughter, uh, just being blissfully unaware. So woo, your family wants you to go back to being blissfully unaware. What else does the family want to say to Aquarius? Yeah. The two of cups, they want to reconcile with you. Maybe they, so they want to talk to you. You know, talk over the differences. They feel like this is the best time for us to come back together, to be together. It's not the time for us to be apart. You know, they miss the camaraderie, the friendship. Um, they also miss just maybe your, 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 you know, your niceness or, you know, the um, type of partnership that you bring to the connection, to the, um, the family dynamic here. Um, something that you would do you know, all the time or day in or day out, or maybe they miss seeing your face day in or day out, day in and day out. Uh, the two of cups. Uh, so they feel like maybe you're on some different type of spiritual practice or spiritual journey and they're not a part of it. Yep. With the two and the six of cups. Yeah. That's eight of cups. So they feel like you just left them and they don't really know why only, you know, why you left the family only, you know, why you walked away. Um, so that they're not getting it. They don't understand. Um, they feel like you're not taking them with you. What else does the family want to say to Aquarius? What does the family want to say to Aquarius? Okay. Empress. So they feel like maybe you have mom issues or mom is important here, or they feel like you just enjoying a, a very abundant life away from these people, away from the family. Um, they feel like some of you are pregnant. Uh, you could be getting ready to give birth. Um, they feel like um, you're about to birth something new in your life um, that you just, right now you're enjoying bliss in your life. Um, you could sing, dance, you could be creative, artistic. Um, they want to be a part of it for some reason. Whatever you're birthing, they want to be a part of it. You know, even though you may, you may have built it for yourself from the ground up, maybe no help here. Uh, they see you as abundant, beautiful, you know, very beautiful, um, inside and out, you know, just a good soul all together. Um, what does the family want to say to Aquarius? What is it? I heard, I'm sorry. I don't know who that's for. Two of swords could be dealing with a Libra, especially with uh, Empress, Libra, Taurus. Uh, I get that <laughs> and Virgo. Sometimes I get Virgo. So, uh, could be dealing with, um, two of swords. So it's like compromise and negotiation. Look, they already know that a conversation needs to be had with the two of cups. Now the two of swords, they feel like the, it, it could go well. It could go the other way. It's kind of like a 50 50 because it, it's almost like an energy where nobody will back down. 
you know, I feel like the Aquarius, the Aquarius will walk off before they back down. Like just, just walk off if it, if the conversation is going nowhere, especially with the six of cups coming up where conversations tend to turn like emotionally immature insults and, um, you know, one-sided and very, uh, narcissistic. So they know that, you know, reconciliation is on the cards. It's in, you know, it's on the table, but how will this happen? They also feel kind of like, again, like you, you've built a tower around yourself. You just don't want to be bothered at this time. You really haven't decided on cutting them out of your life completely, but you have put some distance boundaries up for yourself. Um, they're hoping that you don't see something for some of y'all because the six of cups talks about being blissfully unaware too, uh, oblivious almost. All right, let's see. What else does the family want to tell Aquarius? This like some deep seated issues here with the six of cups here, like some down home, I don't know, page of swords. So they could be spying on you, asking around about you. You are the subject of gossip, honey. When they get on the phone, your name does come up. Even if they deny, 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 yes, your name comes up. Um, they feel like maybe you're keeping your distance. There's little to no communication. It's like somebody's restraining or reframing from communicating because communication turns into argument. So it's like, if I talk less, I won't have to argue. Either Aquarius, this is an Aquarius card, Pay the Swords is saying that, or the family is saying that to you. Or this is how they feel about you. Like they feel like, oh, they... Aquarius doesn't want to talk to me because they feel like we're going to argue or we're going to, you know, it's just going to be bad. It's going to be all bad. So this is how they feel about you. Overall, they feel like you're keeping a wall up. You put distance up boundaries. You don't want to deal with it. You're not dealing with it. You don't have time for it. You haven't really made a full on decision about never, never, ever talking to them again. But at the same time, right now, it's just a situation of just not right now. If not ever, not right now. Let's see how friends view you, Aquarius. How do friends view the Aquarius how do friends view the Aquarius okay the three of wands so they, they view you as kind of distant but also taking the lead like you big leadership quality within yourself they see you doing something over the web internet online because it talks about e-commerce so maybe you sell something or you do something or you post pictures or however you make your money they see you doing it they see you you have far reaching like far reaching span or a span, um, like you, uh, you reach a lot of people, not just in one particular area, maybe over the world. Okay. With the three of wands, again, leadership quality. They see you as kind of turning your back also to, I heard to bullshit. I heard it clear to bullshit. Um, but not necessarily to the friendship, but to definite bullshit. Cause it's like, you really don't have time for it. Um, let's see. You got time for it, but you got time for it. Okay. Anyway, um, let's keep, <laughs> um, let's see the three of wands. They see you as putting, they see you as like building something that's going to be extremely successful. You're just putting it out to the world. You're really working on it. And, um, you know, you're just taking the lead in your life. Let's see. You're in the lead also first. I don't know. Let's see. How do friends or yeah, how do friends or what do the friends want to say to Aquarius? Oh, this card flipped up. Queen of Wands. So they just see you like um, a career woman or an entrepreneur. You get a lot done in a short amount of time. This is like the soccer mom, but also you're a businesswoman, but also you uh, you got a boyfriend or you have a husband. And, I mean, like you're all over the place. You're on this committee and that. Um, they see you as charismatic, outgoing, funny, um, dressed well. Um, life of the party if you need to be um, they see you as well spoken uh, with the queen of wands they see you as sexy also um, you know how to turn up the sex appeal if need be uh, it's, once again they see you in the lead maybe even in your life purpose doing what you're supposed to be doing with the queen of wands on this earth in this earth uh, they see you as yeah, having something to give to the world alright let's see how um, what do they want to say to the Aquarius. What do these friends want to say to the Aquarius? Damn, all these wands. Yeah, nothing more wands. Eight of wands, ten of wands. They see you doing a lot of work. A lot of people coming towards you. Maybe you have a lot of options and love 
or you just got a lot going on, you got a lot of avenues of maybe streams of income, making money, ten of wands, they see you as having moved or making a big move or a big blessing coming in to you. Um, they see you as like a man, a super duper manifester, like whatever you want to do, you make it happen. Okay. Um, you say it and then you go after it. They see you as, yeah, being able to use the law of attraction for, um, for your, for your good, uh, for your best nature. Um, they see is they see you as obstacles being moved. Again, you got two moving cards, eight of wands and the 10 of wands. Um, so they see you as, you know, all of a sudden move or making move, moving, physically moving or making big moves here. Um, they see you as doing a lot, maybe even cracking under the weight of your own success. Like you got so much going on. You need a, you need a chef, you need an assistant, you need everything because you've got so much going on. So your friends see you as super duper busy and they see you as doing it all by yourself, maybe on autopilot. They see you as kind of a loner also. Um, they see you as you attract a lot of people, but you're not really taking to all of this attraction or you're not really taking to, yeah, with the eight of wands and the ten of wands, it's not like you're, you're not really, um, yeah, you're definitely not really taking to this attention that you're getting. They see opportunities coming your way. Um, your friends see this. Um, they can see that you're traveling also. Uh, what else is going on here for the Aquarius? That maybe a large sums of money also coming into you. What else do they, these hobbies friends see you? They see you as just moving, making fast, rapid moves. Wow, can't make it up the chariot. So they see you as just focused on you moving again, another moving card, making moves. Um, so focused on you that, you know, at, at one point you were the underdog, okay? And now they see you again as number one or on top or taking the lead or you're in the lead uh, with the chariot here. They see you as not really concerned about the BS. The chariot holds one. You're concerned about you moving forward, doing you. Um, you may be working out. You look good. You have a nice car or you have cars with an S. You, you They just see you as um, focused on you and that's how you're getting things accomplished. And they don't really even see where they fit in at. Yeah. They see you as doing some high quality work. Whatever you're doing, you putting it out there. It's high quality. People are taking to it. People want to patronize you, throw money at you. Um, people want to be a part of what you're doing. Higher up see you. Competition see you. Coworkers see you. All of that. So um, your friends just see you as more so focused on climbing the ladder. Whatever ladder you're climbing. Let's see how people... At the job uh, you work with, people you work with, how they see you, competition. Seven of Cups in the world. So they see you as um, Seven of Cups in the world. Maybe very dreamy. They can't read you kind of all over the place. Kind of a flight risk, maybe like emotionally or mentally. They see you as a little um, green or just kind of out there. The world, no. They see you as graduating or um, success, promotion, fulfillment. Why the Seven of Cups, though? Procrastinating. Why the Seven of Cups? Why do one the coworkers or people they work with see them as... Oh, maybe there's like lack of consistency, the nine of wands. Maybe they don't see you as committed with the seven of cups and the nine of wands. They see you as you pop in, you pop out. I don't know, maybe you make your own schedule or um, they see you as lack of commitment. Maybe you're top dog one month and then next month you're at the bottom. Um, but the world though, they see you as finishing something up or ascending or going higher or um, really growing or manifesting or um, bending space and time. They see you as just moving, a big mover, shaker, getting things happen, making things happen in your life or getting things to move. Um, they see you as next level, next chapter. Uh, all they see is kind of over this or moving on or they see you as getting the pro promotion or and moving on. What is this? How, why is it how coworkers see the five of wands? I told you they see you as competition. 
they see you as competition because there's some significant growth maybe within your psyche or your downloads or emotions or within your dreams or what you say. Um, they see you, you know, as seven of cups and a nine of wands because um, they see you as in and out. Maybe, you, you know, um, you're not as focused on it as they are. I don't know, as on work as they are, but you're still achieving. You're still on top with the world card. The five of wands, they see you as competition, um, route, route, rivalry. So it's like they just, they see you as a rival. Like they don't see you as, um, you know, a comrade. They see you as somebody that they need to take up arms against because you are excelling light years ahead, I heard. Uh, God in the flesh. Ooh, oh. They see you as like, Aquarius, they see you as um, stiff competition. And you don't have to, oh, you don't have to work so hard for it with the Nine of Wands. The Nine of Wands and the Seven of Cups. Yeah, the Magician. They see you as a Magician. You just get shit done. You use all that you can, all that you have to get done, get things done. They see you as, you know, getting messages from the Divine or you have great ideas. Okay. Again, they see you as competition. You got a card that just fell out onto the floor. Let's see. The Temperance card. So they see you as extremely balanced, emotionally balanced. They see you as your life together. You know, you got a lot of togetherness about yourself. Um, they see you as protected, maybe angelic protection too. Whomever these, you know, your coworkers or people you work with or competition. Um, they see you as protected, maybe by angelic presence. They see you as uh, emotionally balanced. You're, um, you're grounded. One foot on land, one foot in the water. Um, they see you as a high evolved or highly evolved being. Okay, this three of pentacles, you're doing some high quality work. Four of swords. They see you as just kind of resting or taking a rest. Um, they see you as, um, you may be transitioning or changing something about whatever it is you do, or you may even be going on to the next um, job or next phase in your career or whatever it is you do. They see you as taking a break, a step back to plan for the future. They, t they see you as taking a step back because there's been too much argument. They see right now in your life, it's like make it or break it time. You about to make it. Oh, with this three of pentacles though. Three of pentacles and the four of swords. So they see, well, th this is make it or break it time with the four of swords. But the three of pentacles, you're doing some high quality work. So that's nothing but breakthrough. So they, they, these people see you about to break through, bust through um, something here. Wow. Yeah. You're going to the next level. Um, so they see you a stiff competition. Let's get you some advice, Aquarius, and then we'll move forward. Get you some advice. The full moon is coming up, so we'll you pull from the moonology deck what's the advice here so now you know how everybody sees you romantic partner family friends co-workers it is what it is so you're never questioning why do they treat me this way let's come back to this reading uh let's see oh okay so let's get like three cards that fell on the floor Thanks. your commitment is being tested first quarter moon a time to give rather than to take. Okay, for you to give. The energy is gaining momentum. I told you that three of pentacles and that four of swords. These people see you as about to bust through, break through, have a breakthrough, about to be an overnight success. Something. They see you as like you're on fire. Okay. Um, I'm gonna pull, I'm gonna get the book for some of these. Your commitment is being tested, Aquarius. How much do you want this? You know, you've done a the work, but you need to do a little bit more. Um, says the first quarter moon, uh, your commitment is being tested. It says, keep after what it is you really want. Okay. Yeah. It says you're halfway to your goal. Um, you need to put in a little bit more effort than everything I just said. Um, something that, um, you need to realize, um, well, sometimes you just need to realize how much you want something. Okay. And you might need to recommit yourself to something or someone. The answer for you, Aquarius, is yes, but not yet, okay? Uh, it looks like 
the universe is about to give you a big major you know breakthrough windfall or whatnot your commitment is being tested they throwing all kind of tests your way are you gonna let this person derail you that derail you this upset you or are you gonna keep going so that's where um, that's what that's about all right so uh, we've got a time to give then to receive new moon in Virgo so you got some improvements you know definitely and people are seeing them you're uh, paying attention to detail right now if you want success uh, it says be of service to other love and money will follow. So find where you can service others. And then, you know, the love and the, I always tell you that once y'all get into your life purpose, everything will fall in place. Just go look at other people who have it all. The most, the key thing for most of these people, and there will be some exception to the rule because the devil does grant his people, you know, wishes to anyway. Um, but most times when people are in their life purpose, doing what God made them to do here on this earth, they have everything else that maybe everyone else wants. It's because they started with that first. A lot of us, you know, um, we hate our job. We hate our family. We hate ourselves most days, but we want love. We want, you know, copious amounts of money. We want this so much money. Well, it starts with, let's just kind of break it down into um little you know compartments start with you start with you don't like what you do for a living you got to look at that on the, the the lowest common denominator if you don't like what you're doing for a living you absolutely hate the people you work with you know they hate you or you know it's just not what you're supposed to be doing imagine if you get the love of your life and every day you have to come home with that negative, nasty attitude because you hate what you do. How long will it be before that negative, nasty attitude rolls over into the relationship? And then you don't have a relationship. You see how it all, it all ties together. So you need to be doing what you're supposed to be doing. How do you, and you say, well, how do I know what I'm supposed to be doing? Find what you love to do and let it be of service to others. It's probably what you should be doing. You probably won't make as much money at it as you're doing that other thing that you hate, but it is what you're supposed to be doing. But anyway, I digress. Um, there is somebody who you, again, maybe in the family sector, you're just not exactly sure of, but it says they are reliable. I don't know. You may have your, the jury is still out with this person. The energy is gaining momentum. So you've got some, uh, something's really about to happen for you, okay? Um, your dream can come true. More effort is required. And we kind of got that when your commitment is being tested. Just more, a little bit more effort, Aquarius. Um, review, review your goals. Ensure you're still committed. Yeah, your commitment is being tested. Keep moving forward. Uh, this, the situation is full of potential. And you just got to know that you're headed in the right direction. Don't give up. It's like you, it's a, you're about to break through something. Don't give up. Don't let up. Maybe you've been pushing that product or that service. Nobody's taking to it. Nobody's buying it. Nobody's doing it. And you just want to say, scrap the whole idea and go to the next thing. No, the universe just says, push through, push through, keep going. Don't let up. Recommit yourself. Come up with a new way of how to reinvent uh what you've got going on but don't give up all right so um and if they do this uh universe spirit what will happen let's see if they recommit themselves if they look at uh their commitment um, a message will come into you maybe seven days seven hours at the most seven weeks but this talks about seven days a good news message maybe something you've been waiting for wow Fast change comes to you, Aquarius. This is when you just got to throw stuff in the car. This is when that opportunity of a lifetime comes to you, hits you, and you just got to, it's like, yes or no. Like, within an, the hour, I need a yes or a no. Or no you know, and so um, this is really good. So that's really good, Aquarius. So it, either, it could even be some type of contract. It takes you out of, you know, leaving, living foot to what is that foot to mouth or something like that? I don't know. Um, it takes you out of like poverty. Maybe this could even be a new house. 
I don't know, or new relationship for some of you. But uh, Aquarius, this is really good. Keep the momentum going. It's whatever you're doing is gaining momentum. Keep at it. You know how people now look at you from loved ones to romantic partners to your family to friends and to people at the job. All right. If it resonates for you, let me know how it resonates for you down in the comment section. Um, go ahead and comment below, you know, if this is accurate in, in regards to how people look at you at work. If you know that you just got to keep going, let's go ahead and start to manifest together corporately as um, Aquarius. Go ahead and type down there. Keep going. Encourage yourself and encourage someone else as you type. Keep going. Keep it up. All right. So uh, if you want to get your own personal reading, readings are 40 percent off at the uh, website level. Go to the website, get your reading. And if you want to be are surrounded by business minded individuals each and every month where we go over practical and spiritual uh, methods of how to maintain uh, start or grow your business go ahead and join the KTMG monthly conference call the link is below and if you want to hop on a discovery call with me to see if I can help you in business and see if I'm a get good fit for you and if uh, you're a good fit for me then let's get on that discovery call it's complimentary go ahead and schedule now the link is below I'm live every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday night at 9.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Come join me. Uh, thank you, Aquarius. Many blessings to you. Take care.